Hi, my name is Graham Shaw. I'm a provisional psychologist. Hi everyone, I'm Delvan Zandi. I'm a provisional psychologist and senior behavior support practitioner at ORS. Hi, my name is Richard, psychologist from ORS. Welcome to Men's Health Week. It's very important to note that mental health issues are common and they are not signs of weaknesses. In fact, it takes courage to admit there's a problem and to find some help. Your mental health is like your physical health. The earlier you get into it, the better. Some common mental health issues for men as a result of relationship problems, separation, divorce, financial stress, work-related pressures, unemployment, retirement, physical illnesses, or social isolation. One important activity that we engage in that many people disregard is gaming. Now, gone are the days where we were hunter-gatherers and we go out with our mates uh, trying to get that hunt um, and that prize. That, in time, as we became more modernized, transitioned into sports. So we would go, you know, maybe soccer or basketball and work as a team to try to get that prize at the end. Um, that, again, has transitioned into gaming, um, spe specifically online gaming. So that is another avenue for us to kind of, again, communicate with our peers as we strategize and try to win the game, uh, which is our prize. Um, so if a man does take some time to do, you know, engage in gaming, whether that's with a console or computer, uh, that is because he probably has some stress, maybe there's a lot of stuff going on in his life and he wants to kind of declutter that and de-stress and he would engage in gaming. Um, that is good, but in moderation. Everything is good in moderation. So it's always good to kind of specify or at least allocate some time in your, in your week um, that you can engage in this activity and it, it, it is really good for positive uh, mental health. And I'd like to share with you one of the tools that I use to help people when they're suffering from anxiety, role confusion, and they're facing competing priorities. Um, what I like to do is do a bit of an exploration around values and what's important to people and then help them put together a simple personal mission statement. Now, it's not as cheesy as it sounds. It's a really good tool to define who you are, what's important to you, and to help you make uh, important decisions yeah now uh, a simple example of this would be um, I would like to live a life uh, f uh, free of fear and full of compassion I want to live in the moment listen twice as much as I talk avoid negativity and gossip and do not dwell on the past simple print that out put that somewhere you can um, access maybe on the fridge and whenever you're faced with competing uh, priorities or a difficult decision, you can have a look at that and see whether that fits with your values. And it works every time. Simple. Yeah, some tips to help support mental health. Exercise. Exercise has many benefits, not only for your physical health, but also for our mental health. In our brain, exercise stimulates chemicals that improve our mood and parts of the brain responsible for memory and learning. Take time to relax. Ongoing or chronic stress is associated with some mental health conditions. It can also cause physical symptoms like high blood pressure, headaches, insomnia, and wicked immune system. So taking time to relax and adopting realization techniques can help manage stress and improve our general well-being. Thank you for watching this video. If you do have any mental health concerns, Please do not hesitate to contact ORS via our online referral or 1800 number. Thank you.